Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're in Des Moines, Iowa, for another action-packed episode of Monday Night Raw. And here's China. She's in the building. Officially an LCW Universe Superstar after winning a two-on-one against Mia Yim and Sonya Deville last Friday night on SmackDown. And you gotta think that Stephanie is still hot about that one. Let's get things started this evening, though, on a more positive note. We got Gigi Dolan and JC Jane making their way to the ring. Toxic Attraction made their debut in the LCW Universe on SmackDown, where they faced Darner Brooke and Candice LeRae in a table match. They didn't manage to score the victory in that match, but everyone enjoyed having them here, and I'm looking for it to see what they managed to do in the WWE. Tonight, they go up against Bailey and Nia Jax. These two were brought together after Shayna Baszler disappeared. And although she's back now in league with Abaddon, these two are still working as a unit. And I gotta say, I like them as a team. They got a lot of experience, a lot of guile, a lot of strength, a lot of ability between them. This one should be a good test. GG Dolan and JC Jane looking to kick their careers off well in the LCW universe. Bailey and Nia looking to get themselves established as a tag team. And here we go with Bailey and JC Jane. Good close line by Jane. JC going for a fisherman brain buster there and looking for an early pinfall. But no, Bailey kicks out. <laughs> Bailey now suplex of her own. Nicely done, and she's bringing Nair into the action. Nair, who has been altogether slighted by Shayna Baszler. She led the search for Shayna when she was missing. But when Shayna returned of Money in the Bank, it became clear that Nia's efforts were in vain because Abaddon had got her claws into Shayna. And those two have set up an unholy alliance and they're going through the WWE roster like nobody's business. Back here, we got Gigi into the action. Going for a moonsault and missing completely. Showing her inexperience there, I have to say. Naya with her. Tries her into the top turnbuckle. And tags Bailey into the action. Oh, good kick there from Bailey. Gigi, though. Placing Bailey up against the ropes. And look at this. Oh, knees to the face. Boy, oh boy, those will slow you down. And Gigi's pure aggression right here. But Bailey comes back at her. Bailey now taking Gigi back to her corner. She looking for a tag. No, Gigi comes back with elbows. 
And she's going for a suplex. Oh, it's a brain buster. Big move by Gigi. Bailey looks to be in trouble, but finds a tag. JC Jane in as well. Oh, JC. My God, Nia's got her up. She could be in trouble here. Big move by Nia. Putting the stretch on JC here. Is she gonna tap? No, she manages to get out of it. But Nia going for the pinfall immediately. Oh, JC kicks out though. It's only two. Elbow drop by Nia. Oh, good old slam by JC Jane. And she tags Gigi back in. Gigi, oh, what a move that was. Goes for the pin. Is she going to win it here? No, it's a two count. And no more. Oh, Nia, look at this. Going with the same submission maneuver. But JC Jane had it scouted and knocks Gigi down. Nilo going for a pinfall. Oh, and it's over. It's over. Nia Jackson Bailey win. And that's a strong performance by them. Particularly by Nia there at the close. Great win. Setting them off on their own journey as a tag team here in the WWE. And Toxic Attraction are 0 and 2. Wait a minute. That's Mandy Rose confronting Shayna. We know that Shayna and Mandy Rose have been going back and forth in recent weeks. Shayna doesn't seem to appreciate Mandy's style of wrestling. She thinks she's all about the looks and less about the fighting. But I gotta tell you, Mandy's been mighty impressive so far in the LCW universe. And squaring up to Shayna here, that's impressive. Looks like we're gonna get some one-on-one -on -one action between these two tonight. And it'll be great to see them squaring up in the ring. And back out here we got Stephanie McMahon and her cronies Sonya Deville and Mia Yim making their way to the ring. What Stephanie got to say? And I'm sure the fans appreciate Stephanie's apology. It ain't her fault that China's here to mess things up. But it's still good to hear from the general manager. Amir and Sonya did rather let the team down on Friday night. Yet I thought two on one they beat China. But of course, there was interference from Raquel Gonzalez, who looks to have aligned with China. And how about this? We'll have a fatal four-way tonight for the WWE title. And that's good thinking, Stephanie. With four women in the ring, that's going to be hard for China or Raquel to derail things. And how about that? Complete immunity. Complete impunity for anyone in that match who has to deal with China and Raquel. Stephanie has thought this one through. And what about Sonya and Mia? What are you doing with them tonight, Stephanie? Hey, how about that? A match for SummerSlam. Sonya and Mia will take on Sasha Banks and Naomi for the tag team titles at SummerSlam. Oh, yes. But wait a minute, what's this? Ember Moon's joining us. We haven't seen Ember for several weeks here in the LCW universe. What does she want tonight? She doesn't sound like she's in a great mood.
Sounds like she's a little bit better. That she hasn't been given more opportunities here in the LCW universe. And it's true, we haven't seen Ember for a few weeks. But there's been so much going on, it's hard to keep all the women superstars in the spotlight. Stephanie's right. Ember has had a decent number of matches so far. And yeah, she's won some, but she's lost an awful lot as well. You don't want to threaten to join up with China. That way madness lies. And I don't think that's a thing you want to throw around lightly. That's it, Stephanie. Stephanie will reward you if you work hard and get to winning Ember. What does that mean? She's hot, Ember, you can see it. Oh my god, hang on! Attacking! Stephanie, what are you doing, Ember? That's the general manager, you don't lay your hands on the general manager. And Sonya and Mia quickly into the ring, coming to Stephanie's aid there. Outrageous behavior by Ember Moon. That's right, put it to her. You don't lay your hands on Stephanie McMahon. We're backstage with Mandy and Gigi Dolan. And we know that Mandy was part of Toxic Attraction in the NXT brand. And I'm sure she wants to welcome her friend to the new LCW universe. Looks like it's a warning as well. And Mandy's got Gigi and JC Jane's back. Looks like Toxic Attraction and Mandy Rose are still on the same page. And that's good to see. We like superstars to get on with one another outside of the ring. We're just a couple of weeks away now from SummerSlam. Coming to you July 30th. Get it in your diaries. It's going to be a monster. Talking of monsters. We're going to see Shayna Baszler out here shortly to take on the effervescent Mandy Rose. Mandy has got a lot of stick from a lot of people so far in the LCW universe who take her at face value. Per se, she's all looks and very little wrestling ability. But well, that's wrong in my opinion. In the LCW universe so far, Mandy has really got her head down. Has been scoring some impressive victories. She ran Trish Stratus very close and money in the bank and could well have become the Intercontinental Champion. And Trish has agreed to a rematch which will be upcoming in the next few weeks, I'm sure. But before that, Mandy has something to prove to Shayna Baszler here, one-on-one. -on -one. Both Mandy and Shayna have been guilty of attacking one another from behind in the last week or so. But it's gonna be one-on-one -on -one tonight. No hiding place. And we're ready to get this on. Jaina, joined by Abaddon at ringside tonight. You gotta think that Mandy will have that in the back of her mind. But you gotta focus on the woman that's in front of you, Mandy. Because this is gonna be a real stiff test for you. Jaina, might have gone off the deep end, but she's still a very talented superstar, and she can take anyone apart on her day. Going for shots, oh, but look at that kick, and a punch, and then a hip toss from Shayna. And there you go, oh, and then stumping down on Mandy's chest. Shayna is an absolute beast. And I'm looking on approvingly here. I don't enjoy having her at ringside, I'm going to tell you. I can see her from here, and she's even more horrifying up close. Shayna just pounding down on Mandy there. On Friday Night Smackdown, 
She attacked Mandy from behind and pounded the living daylights out of her. Pretty good slam there. These two are looking evenly matched so far. Mandy, what's she going for? Oh, Hurricane Runner counter by Shayna. Mandy's down, but back up. And now where's she going? Shayna lays her against the ropes. And whipping her, there we are, up against the ropes. Nice move by Mandy. And that's one thing I've really been impressed with so far. And she goes for a Boston crowd. Her ring ability has improved greatly. We're seeing more technical maneuvers from her. We're seeing a greater variety. But hang on a minute. Shayna, oh my god, what a slam. And that might be it. Oh, Mandy kicks out. Good work from Mandy. That was a big move. Getting on top here. Oh my god, into a submission. Can Mandy escape this? She could be in trouble. Is she gonna tap? Is she? No, she's escaping, is she? Can she get to the ropes? Elbow to Sheena, and she's out. Well done, Mandy. And then a stiff shot, and several more for Sheena. And a shot to the back. Face as Shayna, and things have swung dramatically. Has Mandy done this? It's gonna be. No, it's a two and a half count. Oh, what a win that would have been for Mandy. And I sure as hell think if she could defeat Shayna here, she'd be getting a lot more respect in the locker room. It's another big move. Shayna may be in trouble here. Oh, another big knee. I think Mandy's got this. Has she? Surely, and it's, it's three, no, oh my god, Shayna kicked out, I cannot believe it, I was absolutely certain that this one was over, and then the change in tech, going for submission here, has she got Shayna, Shayna's in big trouble, is Shayna gonna tap, she is not, and I'm sure, Having Abaddon at ringside is motivating Shayna. Whatever grip it is that Abaddon's got over her, she seems to be able to control her almost effortlessly. Oh, big move by Shayna. And now it's gotta be it. Rest down. No, Mandy kicks out. This is just fantastic heart for Mandy. She's really hanging in there. And she has got a massive point to prove. Shayna lifted Mandy up a good jawbreaker there from Mandy. Sidewalk slam to a backbreaker, very nicely done. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's another reversal by Shayna. Another hurricane runner. And Mandy, that one ain't working for you today. Shayna. Oh, well counted, Mandy. You are going to be into that submission again. No, it's another knee to the face. It must be this time, surely. That's the third knee to the face. And it is. Mandy Rose has beaten Shayna Baszler. And Mandy has proved something to Shayna. And something to herself as well, I gotta think. Oh, wait a minute. Abaddon into the ring. Beaten on Mandy. What kind of sportsmanship is this? Oh, big punch to the gut. Good God almighty. And this is what you get for victory. Oh, man, he's being pounded on by Shayna, by Abaddon. Oh, power bottle from the shoulder there. And it takes to the leg. Man, this one ain't turning out so great after all. But no matter what Shayna or Abaddon do to you, the win is in the record books. You have beaten Shayna Baszler tonight. Oh, Shayna. Shame on you. And wait a minute. Here comes Trish Stratus. 
and she's got tangled up in this one and she's coming to the aid of Mandy Rose oh what a kick to Shayna well done Trish the intercontinental champion is coming for Abaddon and she's breaking things up and going after that monster but Abaddon oh god she's getting on top of Trish my word and Shayna back into the ring and they're pounding on Trish and good god almighty we gotta leave that there we're preparing for the fatal four-way folks is Oscar making her way to the ring and Becky Lynch tonight we will crown a WWE champion for the first time here in the LCW universe and remember it's a contest between four women if China or Raquel Gonzalez attempt to wreck this match like they wrecked every other title match Stephanie McMahon has given all four women in the match carte blanche to attack China and Raquel to do to them whatever needs to be done they will not be penalized for attacking those two nasty women here comes Oscar and she's got more reason than most to be furious with China and Raquel and I'm sure she wouldn't mind getting her hands on them. China has wrecked not only her title shot of Money in the Bank, not only her title shot against Becky Lynch on the roar after that, but she has been a constant thorn in the side of the women at the top of the WWE here, and they've almost all felt their wrath at one point or another. There have been chair shots, shots with the WWE title belt, that China is holding hostage. There's been good old fashioned fists and feet. And oh my God, Oscar, Becky, those two in particular must surely be longing to get their hands on China and Raquel. But there are more important things tonight. There's a belt at stake. And these four women that are competing here, they are gonna go guns blazing for it. Becky Lynch on her way to the ring. We'll see Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair join this match too. And Alexa Bliss, Miss Money in the Bank, is not having a cash in her briefcase here. Stephanie has booked her, no contract required. And similarly with Bianca, she's earned her place here through strong performances. And she just about missed out on the Money in the Bank contract to Alexa Bliss in the Money in the Bank ladder match. She's well and truly earned her place, and she as yet hasn't had to face China and Raquel's interference. And I've got to say, Bianca is a very powerful athlete, and she'll match up well if it comes to it against China and Raquel. So you got to think this is a smart move by Stephanie. Given the women strength in numbers, given them a lot of ability, a lot of power, the EST of the WWE, the strongest, fittest, quickest, best in the WWE, according to her and according to a lot of people. And wouldn't it be something if in her first match for the WWE title, Bianca Belair managed to get the victory over her three opponents here? She'd be a hell of a popular champion, I'm sure. But I could say the same for any of these four women. In talking a popular women, they don't come much more popular than Alexa Bliss, Miss Money in the Bank. Little Lexi, who stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with China last week, and demanded a title shot. But Stephanie intervened and quite rightly pointed out that China is not a WWE superstar at this point, or at least she wasn't when she was trying to arrange a title match with Lexi. We know now though that China has earned herself a contract for the LCW, and she is a bona fide superstar and therefore there's very little we can do to exclude her from the arena, to exclude her from competing 
in matches here. These four women, though, let's focus on them. They're what it's all about tonight. And which one of them is going to leave Raw as the WWE Champion? Bianca showing her strength right away, lifting Oscar up. But Oscar in a sunset flip in. Lex is definitely not going to let that stand, though. And then Becky with Lexi from behind. Whoa, big move there. Thought she was going to go for a pin, but no, it's way too early. Bianca reversed powerbomb on Oscar, dropping over the ropes as well as under the mat. Becky under the second rope. Flying showed him luck, I think that was. Becky's got Oscar down, keeping her down, showing her ground wrestling. What's Becky going for here? Means Alexa up against the ropes and puts the stretching on her. Oscar coming back against Bianca. Going for a big suplex here. Nice move. And leg drops from Becky. Two for the price of one. And Alexa's in trouble here. She's the smallest woman in the ring. And she's looking at right now. But whips Becky onto the apron. Bianca needed the gut of Oscar. Big move by Alexa. Very nicely done. And Becky rolls out of the ring as Alexa celebrates. Alexa, you don't want to spend too long celebrating. All three of your opponents are capable of winning this at any moment. And Alexa rolling out of the ring now after that exchange with Oscar. Becky back into the ring. Bianca's down at the hands of Oscar. Becky's waiting patiently. I gotta say, in a fatal four away, I think both Becky and Oscar are gonna struggle to get their respective submission maneuvers on and hold them long enough to get a tap out. You better, I think, to go for a pinfall, a one, two, three. At least you know exactly how long that's going to take. And we're left with Bianca and Becky in the ring here. Becky kicked to the midsection. Big move. Is this going to be it? Surely Bianca's going to get to the ropes here, is she? No, but it's a two count only. Well, that was close. I really thought for a moment that Becky was going to win this one. Close line by Bianca. Look at the strength coming back at Becky here. And Becky's going for that arm bar. And she's got it cinched in. But this is what I'm talking about. Oscar breaks it up. There was just no time there for Becky to take advantage of the arm bar and for Bianca to tap out. Bianca, though, looks to be taking a rest. She's in trouble, I think. Headbutt from Bianca to Oscar. Oh, Bianca goes for a drop kick on Becky, but Becky slides out of the ring and taking on Alexa. And oh, here we go. It's China and Raquel. And you had to reckon on this happening, didn't you? Bianca going for a pin though, but it's a two count only. And China and Raquel have a night off, ladies, for God's sake. Oh, Raquel going for Alexa, takes her down with a clothesline to the back of her head. And she's pounding on her now. Look at this, windmilling her around. Raquel is just so much bigger than Alexa. And Becky's going for China, but it's a big clothesline from China. And they're cleaning house here. Neck breaker. Oh my god, the best laid plan, Stephanie. China and Raquel just look absolutely ferocious here. Good god almighty. Bianca and Oscar are still fighting it out in the ring. Elbow drop by Raquel there on Alexa. Bianca, Oscar, you need to turn your attentions to these two. And that's what Bianca's doing here. She says just bring it. And Oscar is down. The Bianca is protecting her from these two. And they're squaring up in the ring here. Come on, Bianca. It's too... Wait a minute. What's Bianca doing? 
She's letting him with Elska. Oh my God, what are we seeing here? Is Bianca with Turner and Raquel? Oh, this is terrible news if it's true. Is it? Oh God, Bianca with a shot on Oscar. And we're in deep, deep trouble if these three women are together now. 